Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. As you've seen in some prior videos, I have this whole stack of old free boats in the backyard, including a Tuggy Tugboat sandbox, and some of these surfboards, and then this sailboat. Well, today we're going to be working on Tuggy Tugboat, which I found on the side of the road during some trash cleanup days. And this is not a real boat. This is intended to be a kid's sandbox, and so underneath it's got kind of this crack around there, so it's not really waterproof the way it is. But fortunately that design is going to let me put some extra flotation into the hull, and then I can seal off the bottom to make it watertight. Now today I think we're just going to give this a quick test and not do anything really fancy with it, but just jam some pool noodles up in there and see how it floats. Got to take Tuggy apart a little bit to fit it in the car. Found these in another dumpster somewhere. Alright, we've got some pool noodles in there and some packing material. Now I'm just going to duct tape over this crack to uh, hold a little extra air in place. And again, this is not permanent. This is just to see how it floats with just the existing air space sealed off. If I want it to float a little higher, I might put a sheet of foam on the bottom. But uh, it's all experimental at this point. This is much more stable than Scott led me to believe. But, uh, it definitely needs a keel or um, kayak paddle, so something just went, uh, made a ripping noise on the bottom, however. Oof. Getting low and back. What's that? The back end is pretty low. <laughs> Yeah, Tuggy definitely needs a few things, like a rigid bottom and uh, more flotation. Whoa! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I have things. So, does anyone else want to try Tuggy? <laughs> There's, there's a lot of snails in here. Turn. When we did the lake test, we jammed some pool noodles up in there and used some duct tape, and that kind of worked for about five minutes, and then it sank. So we'll have to do something a little more permanent this time. Now we also need some power for Tuggy. And fortunately, thanks to Craigslist, I picked up an old trolling motor, which kind of mostly works. I know I'm missing the viral wave here because um, there was some dude on Facebook and Reddit a couple weeks ago who had a Tuggy. I've had Tuggy for a few months now. I've been sitting on it. I've been doing other projects. Haven't gotten around to motorizing this thing. Okay, got the motor running. Got the motor running faster. And we can turn the motor. I think this will work as a control console for Tuggy. Alright, it's time to make this miserable excuse for a sandbox into a boat. And to do that, we're going to fill it with spray foam. Now this here is supposed to be closed cell spray foam. I'm sure the comments will tell me I'm wrong and I'm an idiot and it'll absorb water, but from everything I can find on this, it's closed cell foam and won't absorb water. Well, the spray foam is all set up. 
I did end up adding some pool noodles back in there just for a little more structure and to give some more crevices for the spray foam. It works best if it goes in a small area and then expands. Did have some blowouts in a few spots, but uh, mostly it's all right. So I need to make this hole a little more rigid. It's just sitting on those milk crates now, so it's all bowed up. This bottom is just really floppy, so I want to make this more rigid, maybe add a little more flotation. Okay, it's another day, and we've moved into the garage because it's actually raining outside for the first time in weeks. So today, I think I'm going to try and reinforce the bottom of the hull on Tuggy. So I'm going to flip it over, put a layer of foam board down for extra flotation, and then under that, oh, we're probably going to put a big piece of plastic. I've got all this... Um, plexiglass and plastic sheets and whatnot and so we'll probably put that on the very bottom to protect the foam board Tuggy is really becoming a big hassle. It's a lot heavier than I planned with all that extra foam and floorboards and extra stuff that I've put on there, so it's really too heavy to get up on the roof rack, and it's too big to fit inside the car. So I dug out the little baby trailer from the airboat, and Tuggy does fit on this trailer. It's still kind of a hassle to deal with. We might just end up using that to transport it over to the lake. So I want to start taking the trolling motor apart and making it shorter so it actually fits on the back of Tuggy. It came with this parts diagram, but nothing's really labeled or identified, so I don't actually know what's in there. There's definitely some stuff in there, and I guess we're going to start just taking the stuff apart and see if we break it. So I've not been able to find a hex wrench that fits this, even though I have just about every hex wrench ever invented and some that are probably from a fantasy world and haven't been invented yet. I'm pretty sure in most engineering jobs, they ask in the interview, do you believe in standards? And if the answer is no, you're hired. You're an engineer. Good work. All right, since I can't get this apart the right way, I'm going to use the wrong way. So we've got our trolling motor shortened up quite a bit, reconnected all the wires, soldered all the wires, and I'm going to goober some uh, waterproofing silicone in there stick this back together, and then see about getting it mounted. Since this was a really cheap Craigslist motor, all the wiring is messed up, or something's messed up in the controller, because um, on-off is left, Slow is left, fast is left, constant is on-off, maximum is constant, fast, slow, left is right, right is left. I don't even know what this does, but uh, none of these do what they're supposed to, so at some point we'll have to redo the wiring in that. I've added a couple more final touches, including some cleats, so I can actually tow things with my tugboat. And then I've added a paddle holder. Because even though the craftsmanship and attention to detail on this project is truly astounding, I suspect at some point my motor will fail or fall off or catch on fire, and I will have to have an auxiliary paddle. All right, that should be enough messing around with Tuggy. Let's take this thing over to the lake, throw it in the water, and see how long it takes to sink this time. It's not the absolute worst. I think I have weeds. I don't know what I 
So Tuggy is working pretty well on its first motorized test run, and I didn't even sink. It did have some issues with weeds, which we've run into at this lake before. It's still the easiest lake to test things on because it's right down the road from my house. But maybe next time we'll take this out on the river or somewhere with less aquatic salad. Yeah, sure gets a lot of weeds in the front. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the future adventures of Tuggy, and we'll see you next time.